to the person. Because we Masks know don't that work. In fact, Bullying science controls are caused by racists. That That's the information the she's relying upon. So forgive Canadians us if we don't believe her. Are waiting for. Thank you. It's on the health committee can carry out our duties. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Davies. And Mr. Du, please. Giddy up. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Having concluded the business we came here for today, I move that we adjourn today's meeting. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, thank you, Mr. Du. Um, we have a motion on the floor to adjourn. Uh, I'll ask the clerk to take a vote. Giddy up. Mr. Fisher? No. Mr. D'Entremont? No. Mr. McGuire? So, yay. Uh, yeah, five, six. Five yays, six nays. Uh, thank you. Uh, we go now to Ms. Rempel Garner. Go ahead, please. Well, I guess so much for working collegially, Chair. Um, the business of the committee was not complete to my colleague, Ms. Tadu. Uh, there's a motion on the floor that is of material import to every Canadian, given the fact that we are in the middle of a pandemic that has shut down most of our economy. And uh, we are behind most of the developed countries in the world in terms of receipt of vaccine. So I think what my colleague has done with this motion is put forward a very elegant solution that uh, respects uh, various issues that have been brought up with regard to the release of the contracts. It is in alignment with motions that we've already put forward to this committee that we've seen some obfuscation from, from the government, to put it mildly, to my colleague, Mr. Davies, very correct point. Uh, we spent a lot of time in this committee uh, trying to compel the government to release information that is of material imp uh, import to Canadians uh, on how we're getting out of the pandemic. So I think what Mr. Barlow has done is, is, is begin to address the deficiencies in information uh, that uh, we have received in this committee. Um, I, I cannot believe that we tried to shut this motion down. I really can't. I, it's shocking actually. Uh, that said, I am in full support of this motion. I certainly think that um, every provincial government, at most of the press gallery, um, everybody is asking for this. It's it's done in an elegant way, and uh, I think it's really smart. And my I commend my colleague, Mr. Barlow, for uh, putting the work into finding this solution, which I will be strongly supporting. Can the Prime Minister tell Thanks. Canadians if he's expecting a reduced or zero shipment from Moderna on the week of February 22nd? It was going to be a massive challenge for companies around the world to develop and produce a vaccine that didn't exist yet when we were signing these contracts last summer. That's why we signed so many different contracts for so many potential doses for Canadians to ensure that we would be able to get Canadians vaccinated regardless of challenges or, yes, fluctuations in the week-to-week week delivery. Rampel, Garner, I don't know if I've ever been called elegant before, so um, I'm going to definitely uh, put that on my resume. Uh, but to, to my colleagues and Ms. Sadu, um, you know, we, we talked for the last hour about how important it is to get this information and, and get to work and answer questions for Canadians. And it, your, your, motion, your adjournment attempt to me means that this is something that you don't want to talk about. But I want to be clear. Um, we are not asking for anything that is not going to come out eventually. What we are asking in this motion is if, has the law clerk already received the contracts, those documents that are part of the contracts? If he has, this motion is asking him to prioritize the release, the translation and the release of those documents to the if committee. If he has not received those documents, this motion is asking them to ensure that the, law, the government provides uh, put a priority on the government providing those documents, those contracts to the law clerk uh, for review, translation, and again, to come to this committee. So you are, uh, you know, we are not, we're, we're trying not to prolong the inevitable. We're actually trying to speed it up because we have now seen that this is a critical issue uh, for Canadians when we see it. is devastating and we have to give them clear definitive answers and the only way we get that 
is by having the experts who can provide that information at committee at the most timely, at the most timely moment possible. So if we have to meet on family day or on a break week, giddy up, I will be here. Um, during a pandemic, there's no time for a break or no time, time for, for a holiday, holiday. No, no offense. offense. Uh, Canadians are looking, giddy, giddy up. I will Yourself and Mr. Terrio and your priorities, I do hope we get to those priorities because I want to make sure that we put the same effort into the priorities that you've chosen as the priorities that we've chosen. So I'm um, happy to support this. I hope you all uh, have a wonderful weekend, uh, assuming that we're in agreement with this motion and we get to the uh, get to the answers that we want to get as a committee. Thanks, folks. Thank you, Mr. Fisher. And oh, I would you, remind Chair. everyone to. Um, you know, I don't do passive aggressive. I do aggressive aggressive. And um, I just want to address the comments um, for people watching about saying that they're suggesting that this isn't collegial. What I find with colleagues from the Liberal Party is they often say, well, we're not being collegial or we're not working hard together. But what that actually is code for is please don't question us when we're failing. It is my job and the job of everybody on this committee to get answers for Canadians. And what's been happening during this pandemic is we had Parliament shuttered. We had prorogation. We have the Prime Minister coming out in the morning out of Rideau Cottage giving a giving out statements that even the media are criticizing for him now. They have to be walked back later in the day. Um, Mr. Fisher, as a parliamentary secretary, you haven't reached out to me once in the entire time I've been health critic. So there's that. Um, in terms of having a Zoom call, I've tried to have meetings, informal meetings. I've been shot down by the chair. Um, I, I, I just, and you know what, the 106.4 procedure, yeah. I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it every single time to make sure that we get answers. So if, if, if colleagues want to be more collegial and do better for Canadians, then I ask them to look inwardly within their own party. The Liberal members on this call, I mean, if there's chastisation about lack of collegiality, need to push back to their health minister and say, hey, I'm getting roasted in my constituency. People are tired of lockdown and we need answers. It's not acceptable for the prime minister to go out and give false information to Canadians in the morning. I'm trying to do this on health committee. You know what, maybe Rempel's got a point. So if we want to work collegially, then the Liberals have to start demonstrating that they're committing, committed to getting answers for committee. I are for Canadians. I am glad that there's agreement on this motion and that we're going to pass it. But frankly, you know, we're half an hour in here. I've heard three Liberals or two Liberals talk about uh, you know, the need to be more collegial. Actually, it was only, mis uh, kudos to Mr. Um, Palowski for, for actually raising pertinent questions. But like, I, I just, I have to push back. Um, yes, um, I am going to use every procedural tactic in the book to get answers for Canadians. I will do that. I am not going to just let the prime minister come out and give the Rideau Cottage uh, thing every morning. But that doesn't mean uh, I, I just, I've, Chair, I just refuse to s subscribe to the notion that it's somehow wrong or uncollegial for an opposition parliamentarian to be using parliamentary procedure to get answers for Canadians on the pandemic during a pandemic. You know, Chair, you talked about how we, we, we can't use the committee because we only have a certain number of slots uh, virtually, like we should be meeting all the time. Anyway, Chair, I, I just, um, I, 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 I don't do passive aggressive well, but I will do my job well. And I think that's what we did today. Uh, thank you, Ms. Rumpel Garner. I just want to make a comment about informal meetings. The reason it's, we can't do them is that we don't get translation when we do that. And, and that's not fair to our, our block colleague. Um, the only way we can really get simultaneous translation is through a subcommittee meeting or through a, uh, a regular meeting. And, um, and and that's the way we're trying to work. So uh, thank you for that. And uh, we go now to Monsieur Ter